HR department. You spoke on the phone. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hi. I'm BJ, Senior Project Manager. Nice to meet you, too. How are you this morning? Great, thank you. Good. All right. So DJ's here to uh, ask you some of the relevant technical questions related to the position. Technical questions? I don't think I can bullshit my way through this one. Thank you, man. So... Okay. Before we dive into the questions, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Okay. I am a graduate in business and marketing, and I'm looking for a company that values teamwork and effort. Is that all he has to say? You haven't done much with your life, have you? Okay. A recent graduate. Congratulations. Um, so. Seeing as how you just graduated, your long-term career plans, where do you see yourself in five years? I don't know jack shit. Um, in five years, I see myself professionally capable of running and managing a mid to large size project and being able to consistently can, uh, produce on-time products. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. How did this guy get through our screening process? In projects like ours and the team I manage, we all work together and communicate as a team. How do you do working with teams? Uh, I believe that working with the team is very important. Uh, when you get together with a bunch of people and you coordinate properly, you reach the goals and uh, ends of the projects. I don't think they're buying my bullshit. So have you ever been in uh, conflict with uh, any team member or supervisor due to lack of communication or just personality friction? Well, of course I fucking get into conflicts every time. Well, when it comes to conflict, I believe that it's easier to deal with uh, the situation without hot words or anger, but to come at it with being polite and discussing with the person on what is the problem with coming to an agreeable solution. Uh, if a solution can't be made, then you take it to a higher level of management. That's how we roll. Have them in you. Okay. Um, well, that was a really good example of some conflict management strategies, but we were really looking for more of a specific example, something from your career, from your school experience, uh, of a conflict you had with a colleague. Um, no. No? Did he just fucking tell me no? God, what a douche! Uh, I've never really gotten into a lot of conflicts. Like I said, when I see a problem arise, I approach it head on and find a solution before it can become a problem. Well, I did get a chance to review your resume and take a look at your qualifications and experience. They all look great. Can you tell me why you're leaving your current job? Ten bucks says they fired your lazy ass. Um, I believe... I fucking punched my last supervisor in the face! ...that the company that I'm working with, their missions and their vision, doesn't, uh, isn't aligned with my personal career goals. <laughs> you don't look like you have any goals for your life, mister. Uh, I'm looking for a company that's able to keep me busy and to challenge me. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> we are definitely in full swing with all our projects. There's always something to do and a lot to learn. Uh, if you're looking for a company that will challenge you, such as ours, uh, tell us what do you know about our company. I don't know jack shit about your company, bro. Um, well, your company is a leader in IT and you deliver your product to vendors to service your clients. Okay, great. So Jason, what, what differentiates you from the other candidates? Besides being a slacker, a professional bullshitter, and having no experience whatsoever... Tell us why you think we should hire you. Because I'm Rick James, bitch! Well, I believe that my experience and background makes me a perfect candidate for this position. As well as my ability to adapt to the situation and the environment to make sure that the projects are done on time and have good results. Who are we kidding here? I need this job 
to pay my rent and to pay off my bills. Did this bitch just eyeball me? Chosen as a successful candidate, what would be your plan of attack on your first day of the office? Not that it's ever going to happen. Uh, on my first day, I would observe the systems and uh, procedures of your company. Play Candy Crush, update my Facebook status for an hour. Every hour, actually. So that I would be able to take them and adapt them into my own work. Uh, strategy so that I can be more efficient in my work Yeah, so what do you think your strength and weakness is? Um, my strength is... I can do 50 push-ups in one go. How do you like me now? Project management, uh, dealing with stressful situations. When it comes to a busy situation, a busy day, I look at all the projects that need to be done, try to find the ones that are uh, the most important and time sensitive and get those done first so that I don't have a pile up of unfinished tasks. Um, the, my weakness is... I have no weaknesses. Oh yeah. ...that I find it hard to be detailed your ability to work with detail. Okay, so you have a problem with, with detail in your work, but it is very important to this role that there is a strong attention to detail shown. Can you maybe elaborate, tell us what your plan of attack would be to um, work around that potential weakness? Okay. Seriously, lady, do I look and sound like a guy with a plan? Um, my lack to, of detail is not a lack of attention to detail. It would be more of a... Uh, lack of ability to relay the detail that has been done in the situation to uh, co-workers co and superiors. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck did I just say? What the fuck did he just say? But then when it comes to reporting the details, some things may be missed. So a way that we could get around that is uh, I could take notes of everything that I do so that that would be able to be relayed to somebody, but I would find that that would reduce efficiency and uh, reduce the increase the amount of time I would take you. I can't believe I get paid to sit here and listen to this shit. Okay. Um, okay. That's great. Couple more questions. Excel skills. Excel in Microsoft Office. How would you rate yourself with those? Very highly. Uh, in my schooling, I was uh, I completed the entire program and am certified as a Microsoft instructor. Oh. Um, oh wow. So oh man, she actually believed that. <laughs> There's no such thing as a certified Microsoft instructor, dumbass. So I achieved very high scores, 100% in all of the Microsoft suite. Oh. Huh. So he's not a complete slacker after all. Great. Okay, any other software programs that you, um, that you have experience with we should know about? Fuck, this bitch is like a pit bull. She just won't let go. Uh, yeah, uh, very uh, knowledgeable in Adobe um, and uh, PowerPoint. Okay. Yeah, that will help. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, one last question, Jason. Um, as you know, uh, marketing is a, is a huge part of the role. So can you maybe give us an example of a, a challenge you had in marketing at some point in your career, whether it be school or professional? He is kind of cute, though. But God, what a slacker. Um, well, similar to conflict resolution, I really haven't had a challenge. I, 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 you as, don't uh, have any challenges. Did he really just say that with a straight face? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that with a straight face. At this point... I'm just trying to bullshit my way through the rest of this interview. You don't, you go in and talk to your clients and find out what they need and where their objections are and where the challenges are and what 
obstacles they need to go around, and then you can come at it with solving the problem. So that really been a challenge. <laughs> okay, successful in all you do. Not. <laughs> Anything else from you, DJ? Uh, I think I'm also. Okay. Good for my side. Great. Good for good for my side as well. I have heard enough bullshit for today. Well, um, actually, Jason, do you have anything for us? No, uh, not at the moment. Uh, but if I do have any, I can email you. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Well, um, we're hoping to shortlist the candidates within the next three to five days. And I can absolutely guarantee that you will not be making that list. And we'll give you a call either way and let you know if you'll, you'll be proceeding to the second round of interviews, okay? This is as far as you get, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks, did it? Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. It's great to meet you. She's got a nice rack. Did he just stare at my boobs? Worst interview ever. Man, I need a beer.